As we have covered in the previous section, when a transplant candidate is thinking about transplantation, there are two options for getting a kidney. One is to get a kidney from a living donor. The second option is a kidney from a deceased donor. Unfortunately, most of our patients will have to be on the waiting list to get a kidney transplant if they don't have any living donor available. In the United States, there are more than 100,000 patients waiting for a kidney with only about 12,000 kidneys a year available. There are just not enough kidneys for everyone. How are these deceased donor kidneys distributed across all patients on the waiting list? The U.S. is divided into different transplant regions, and there's a national policy which determines how a deceased donor kidney is distributed. Briefly, the policy uses a point system. For each year you are on the waiting list, you get one point. The time you are on dialysis also counts in case you weren't on the list before starting dialysis. As an example, if you have been on dialysis for about 2.5 years, you will get 2.5 points as you get listed for transplant. The longer you've been on the waiting list, the more points you get. The more points you get, the higher you move up on the list to get a kidney transplant from a deceased donor. There is some preference given for younger patients, particularly if the deceased donor is younger too. You may also get some extra points if you're sensitized. Sensitized means that you had been exposed to someone else's HLA, which stands for human leukocyte antigens. Exposure to HLA is usually from a prior transplant, pregnancy, or blood transfusion. Sensitization makes it harder for you to get a match for a kidney transplant. We will discuss HLA sensitization and other compatibility later in this series. There's this very small chance for you to move to the top of the list if you get offered a zero mismatch kidney. This is almost a perfect match between the donor and you. It is a little bit like winning a lottery, and it does not happen often. The major issue about deceased donor kidney transplant is that patients, unfortunately, have to wait on the list for four to six years due to the shortage of deceased donor kidneys. Certain blood types are also harder to match, so they may have to wait a little bit longer for a kidney match. When we think about deceased donor kidneys, not all of these kidneys have the same quality. We classify the kidneys according to what we call KDPI, or Kidney Donor Profile Index. This index looks at 10 different donor characteristics, with age being a major factor. This kidney index classifies a donor between 0 and 100. Kidneys with lower KDPI numbers usually come from younger donors, and the higher KDPI kidneys are usually from older donors. Our team tries to match the patient's age to the donor in order to provide them with the best chance of getting a kidney. In addition to KDPI, we also carefully assess every donor kidney. We only match recipients to kidneys that we think would benefit them. For example, if Michael, the 60-year-old grandfather we met earlier, can accept a kidney with a KDPI score above 85, this will allow him to move to the top of the list quicker because these kidneys would not be beneficial for a very young patient. A kidney with a higher KDPI could potentially be a good match for someone in their 60s because it likely came from an older deceased patient. When talking about deceased donor transplants, we should think about the risk of passing an infection from the deceased donor kidney to the recipient. The risk of a recipient getting an infection from a donor kidney is very low, less than 1 in 1,000. The risk is low because we do extensive donor testing before accepting a kidney. We collect blood, urine, sputum, which is a mixture of saliva and mucus, and perform several viral and bacterial testing, including HIV, hepatitis, and now COVID, to ensure they are safe for our transplant patients. Overall, based on our experience and the experience of all transplant community from around the world, we can say that kidneys from deceased donors are safe to be transplanted from the infection perspective. At Mesh General, we have a very special kidney transplant program with over 60 years of experience that can maximize your chance of getting a kidney faster. This program allows patients who have hepatitis C to be offered to patients who do not have hepatitis C. By treating the recipient with antiviral drugs against hepatitis C right away, we're able to safely offer kidneys that would have been thrown out to patients on our waiting list. This program allows waitlisted patients to move quicker to the top of the list and get transplanted. 
Multiple research studies have shown this to be a very safe and effective approach. Now to one of our pre-transplant nurse coordinators who will talk to you about the evaluation process. Thank you.